I love when packages come in the mail. And if you follow me on Periscope, you'll see when they come in, I show you guys a sneak preview of what's coming. But if you haven't seen the Periscope video, let's show you right now. It goes on top of your grill. It's called Grill Great. An improved grill surface. Sears, sizzles, radiates, protects, flare-up protection, even heat control for juicier meats with perfect sear marks every time. Good quality. Okay, so this is what one looks like. And the heat comes through the holes and these tops get extra hot. I don't know how it works. Like I said, there's science behind it all and I'm not, I'm not the guy to be asking, but I will show you how this works. So like one would go on like that and the other one would go in interlocks right there. And then you can build however many you want. They also have measurements and perfect sizes for almost any grill. Okay, so I bought the pre-made patties. They're all the same size, all four of them. Four sausages, and I bought four pre-seasoned chicken breasts. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put two patties, two, two, and two was going on the grill grates. Two, two, and two is going on my regular grill. One goes there, one goes there. Oh, that's sizzling already, did you hear that? And one goes on here. All right, so when I do anything, I'll turn the camera on and I'll record whatever I do next, okay? But for right now, we've got medium flames all across the board. Let's see what happens. Okay, you're gonna love this. A grease fire just broke out. Unbelievable. That's right. This whole test has been destroyed. This whole thing's been destroyed. All the meat's just gone. I, I can't believe this just happened. Oh my goodness, was that hilarious? Was that the fun? There was nothing funny about that. Nothing funny at all. I burned up all my meat and I had to go back to the store. So I get a call from Grill Grates. They see me post, uh, Grill Grate. They see me post that, I, that I, it flamed up and all that. And they're like, did you happen to read the directions? And I'm like, um, no. <laughs> they're like, we even put it in bold. I'm like, yeah, but if you don't read the directions, it don't matter if it was on fire like my barbecue, I wouldn't have seen it. So if you read the directions, it will tell you to make sure that you clean the grease and anything at the bottom of your barbecue before using grill grates. Because grill grates is so awesome that it kind of hot boxes it and it can ignite whatever's down there. Uh, not that it did anything wrong. I was the one who did it wrong. So let's give grill grate a true test right now. I have it, it's all done. I mean. Now I don't have to clean down there because it just ignited it all. It's all gone. <laughs> let's do the test over. Let's put the meat back on. I got fresh meat right here. Now I will film, hopefully it won't ignite again, but I will film this. Anytime I flip it, I will show you. We'll do everything equally. Now I don't know if you can see it, but we're getting a little bit of a flame up. We've got a little grease going here and I'm gonna leave that. I'm not moving that burger. Once again, if a grease fire flames up on this side, because of drippings, I'm gonna let it go so we could show how the grill grate protects the meat and this doesn't. I may, wrote, I may flip everything to take a look, but I'm gonna take care of the burgers first. So let's flip this one. This one's been greasing up big time. There it is. All right, and then we'll tend to this one. All right, and we're gonna tend to this one. And then we're gonna tend to this one. Okay, it's time to rotate our sausages now. Take a look, how's it looking? All right, kind of dark. Good, that looks real good. That one's nice, let's see what this one looks like. A ah, little stuck there, come on. There you go. That looks good. And then how's this one? This one's leaking all over the place. But it looks good. All right, we're gonna give the chicken a little bit more time. What's gonna happen is the chicken is too far up. It's not as hot up here. So once we finish grilling there, we're gonna move all four pieces back. Everything gets treated equally. All right, so I'm gonna try and line this up so you guys can see everything. 
No, better yet, we're gonna go one at a time. So come on in close, and I'm gonna show you each patty as it was on the grill. Okay, so here is the, the grill grates were on this side for you guys as you were watching. And then this is the non-grill grates. As you can see, this one got torched a little bit. It was on the outside. A lot of grease fires underneath it and was making it dry out. So we're gonna slice them all right now. Show you the inside. Cooked them almost the same exact time, amount of time. All right, so here we got rare. We got like medium. This one is, this is also rare. It's interesting. Let me see how these two look. I don't know, they look almost identical. A Little bit cooked on the outside here, but rare in here. That's all rare. Okay. And then this one, kind of the same. These cooked almost identical. These didn't. Your burgers came out completely different depending on where they were on the grill. Now, just to be fair, this one, this medium is pretty dried out. So I'm gonna taste the rare one first. Here we go. It's good. Oh, it's real good. Now one of the grill grates. Now, just so you know, Grill Great is not a sponsor. I don't have to talk nice about them if I don't want to. But I will tell you this, that's more plump. That patty is more plump, less dried out. They both taste great. This has more moisture in it, more flavor. It breaks down easier in my mouth. It's really tender, not dried out. The outside isn't toughened up. All right, so I'm noticing one thing right off the bat. The Grill Great ones, and I'm not even, I, I never read anywhere that it keeps the meat more moist and it doesn't dry out the meat because I didn't read the directions. Maybe I should have read the booklet. But visually, you could see these are more like constricted and, and wrinkled up and shriveled. See all those stray, what do you call those? I don't know. But if you look over here, you can see that these are, these are more uh, dried out and, and tight and shriveled up. And these aren't quite as shriveled up. That makes sense. These look more plump. We're gonna cut this a little bit here, give you kind of a, a look at what it looks like inside. How's it look? And then this one here, leave that one. We do this one too. Oh, see this? This one's a little bit drier. See that? Just kind of crinkled. Okay. They both look good though, but they both smell great. Let's move that out of the way. So let's compare these two. All right, so you can see, this one's fully cooked, and this one's fully cooked, this one looks dried out. Okay, we're gonna start with the grill grate one. Here we go. Good snap of the skin. It's perfectly cooked. It is, I can. I mean, it's perfectly cooked. Now let's try this one. Mm, that's good. A little tougher to chew. A little drier, but it's still good. This is the grill grates one. This is the non-grill grates one. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Looks beautiful. Dun, 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 dun. Looks beautiful. Perfectly white. Perfectly white. Let me cut one more, cut a little slice here. Nice. Looks good, doesn't it? We're gonna try the grill grates one. Now we're gonna try the non-grill grates one. They're identical, really. Ooh, good seasoning too. I bought that at the store. Okay, so in recapping, the chicken breasts were pretty much the same. The hamburgers were all over the place if it wasn't on the grill grates. The ones on the grill grates were all almost uniformly cooked. That's what the grill grate does. It distributes the heat, 
keeps flare outs from coming and if you flip it over you have like a flat griddle on the other side you can cook on that side too pretty amazing uh, my viewers told me to review this because they have it and they're madly in love with this product I have a link down below you can contact the company uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with amazingribs.com but they're using it on their show it's got to be good so thanks grill great for sending me the product I like the product a lot I might even look into getting the full size for the full grill in the meantime you guys saw it you make your own decision and I'll see you on the next episode take care bye bye